let's have a look at paired comparison experiments and let's define what we need to do for our problem. So I just before we get started into the details, I just want to look at the process that we're going to go through. So when a pair, we've got a paired comparison, every participant is going to be doing two tests. So if I was doing some fitness tests, I would do a fitness test, do the, um, do the activity, and then do another fitness test so I can compare the results. So as soon as you have two tests being done by the same person, we can't do separate dot plots of before and after, okay? Because one of the assumptions of that is that they are independent groups and they would not be independent. So we start off by having our group of people that we're going to do. We randomly allocate the order. So I choose, are they going to do the control group first or are they going to do the treatment group first? Then we do the test. Then I go on the same group of people and all of them do the opposite. So if they had been doing the treatment group, they now switch to doing um, the control group. If they were doing the control group, they now switch to doing the treatment group. So they swap over. We collect the test on that and then we find the difference. Okay, and we're going to analyse the differences between them. So in terms of writing an investing equation question, this is what we need to have. We need to have our groups, so that's our control group um, and our treatment group. Okay, so we need to know um, what those two things are. We need to know what it is that we're measuring. Um, so are we measuring the amount of money people spend? Are we measuring their test result? Are we measuring how much they like something? Okay, what is it that we're measuring? We need to know who the participants are. Okay, am I doing this experiment on year 10 students from my school? Am I doing this from other year 12 students at my school? Or am I doing it on somebody completely different, a bunch of adults? Okay, then it also needs this word effect because we're talking about, I wonder if doing this has an effect on the response. Okay, I wonder if pulling off my plaster has, has, causes an effect with um, the response. So I also want to think about making some kind of prediction. I think this will happen. So have a look at an example here. Say we wanted to know if students can write quicker with their dominant hand or their non-dominant hand. So that's what I want to compare. So I'm going to take a group of students and I'm going to make them write with their dominant hand. Well, I'm going to randomly choose, okay, whether they write with the dominant hand first or with the non-dominant hand first. Then they are going to switch and do it the other way around. And then I'm going to find and compare those answers. So in terms of my question, I wonder if writing with my dominant hand has an effect on the time it takes to write a passage. So that's what I'm going to be measuring, is I'm going to have a stopwatch up on the board and students are going to be recording the time that it takes them to finish writing something out for me. So I've got the effect, I've got my dominant hand compared to my non-dominant hand, so my two groups that I want, and I've said for what students, this is for students in MES2, at OSC in 2018. So I've defined who my participants are. So that's my investigation question. Once I've got that question, then I want to look at a prediction and think, well, who do I think would write quicker? Do I think they'd write quicker if you're writing with your dominant or your non-dominant? And then I want to find some research about why this might be to back me up. And I think that students who write with their dominant hand are going to be faster. So they're going to be able to write quicker than their non-dominant. And the reason I think that is because when we, if my right hand is my dominant hand, I tend to use that to pick things up. I write with that. So the muscles in that hand are a lot stronger and more developed. Okay, And so therefore, because I've got stronger muscles, I think that means I'll be able to write quicker. All right. And then I've gone and found some research um, and I've put a little quote, I've put the little notation of where it's come from. Um, and so the research that I found talks about how the dominant hand can be faster manipulating objects. All right, so that's a 
connecting directly to what I'm trying to show.